Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, Lonnie back here again with uh, another video and we're going to go ahead and give this thing the official title. Welcome to a late night chat with Lonnie Carrico. Uh, tonight I thought we'd focus on uh, something coming up that means quite a bit to me. It's absolutely my favorite time of year. Uh, not so much the weather change. It's starting to get cold out right now as a matter of fact and that I don't like at all. But we do have October coming up, and I usually take take it upon myself <clears throat> to make October my month. That's the one time of the year I typically shine. I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. It's the best time of the year. It's the one day you can be anything you want to be. So, I love it, and I try and make that a month-long uh, thing. Trying to watch movies, trying to go and do these special events uh, means a lot. Last year we partook, me and, my buddy, me and my buddies, we all went out, we did this thing called a zombie walk. It was the first time ever we got ourselves done up, had white shirts with blood dripping down, and we made up ourselves, you know, and went out there and all we did was we just walked around the block as zombies. And the best, one of the best things that I actually remember was we were walking by and this woman was being wheelchaired out of a building. And she was an elderly woman, and oh my gosh, she was terrified. Like, she was, honest to goodness, completely freaked out and did not know what was going on. And the woman that was, you know, pushing her along actually kind of started pulling her back because she was out of the loop, too, and she knew that her woman was uh, really, really scared. So that was, that was kind of a fun little deal. That was funny. Uh, another thing... Um, I love going to the Bush Gardens, King's Dominions, you know, uh, when they change the whole park to the Halloween theme, and it's really cool to see how they transfer it and all that good stuff, so that's really been an enjoyment of mine, and I love myself going in costume and dressing up and all that good stuff. Uh, one of my favorites when I was younger was uh, Batman. I don't think that's any shocker to anybody, but I've done the Riddler. I haven't done Joker, and I know Bane is going to probably be a big one this year, but that'll be interesting to see what, what all comes out. I do have something in mind, so I'll get back to you on that. But I wanted to talk tonight about scary uh, games, really, uh, the horror game genre. When I was a kid... I didn't play. <laughs> I couldn't play horror games. I couldn't do it. I got so wrapped up and invested in the game that it would terrify me. And I would literally, immediately, when something jumped, I paused it and I threw the controller down and I walked away. I couldn't take it. So I just didn't play them. One of my first attempts at the... Uh, at the getting into the game and into the genre was for the N64, Castlevania, and the other one, Legacy of Darkness. I tried to play them, and you know, it's not that they were really scary. It, it that was the thing. I was expecting something kind of scary, and a couple scenes got me. I remember uh, going through a maze, a hedge maze, and I came across this corner, came around the corner, as a matter of fact, and. There was a guy standing there, big guy. I didn't even see him. I walked right in front of him. And then I hear a, you know, a chainsaw rev up. And he immediately starts hitting me, doing damage. And it scared the living shit out of me. It, wow. So I ran away from him and hit off on the other side. And on the other side was another chainsaw-wielding maniac thing. So I was horrified and I wound up pausing and I did walk away. I did end up eventually beating Castlevania but I didn't beat Legacy of Darkness and that's because uh, my grandpa and I were kind of doing a you know you play one I'll play the other type deal so he wound up beating the other one I never did so I didn't really need to I watched him play it and that was really my first induction into a horror game genre and as I've grown up and matured and I've had my fond love of Halloween and love of horror movies and the just horror genre in general, I started to try and pick up more in the game. I never got to play the Silent Hill or Resident Evil, 
originals, let alone anything of today, because I feel like I'd be missing too much of the story and of the point. So why jump in so late? I do want to go and eventually play the old ones. I'm sure I can play them on the PlayStation Network. But for now, um, I'm not really looking to play any of those. But I did eventually start getting into stuff. And a game I picked up and played for the PlayStation 2 was Fatal Frame. Now, if you guys know that game, you know what I'm talking about. That game just does not let up. It is scary, and I love it. It is one of my favorite games. It, it has a great atmosphere. It's got a great story, very original. It's got a unique system of, you know, fighting or, you know, shooting, if you will. You shoot a camera instead of shooting a gun, and I like that. And you're killing ghosts, and you're finding secrets, and... Oh man, you're walking through that that mansion and you're just creaking along the floor as you run or you're really kind of pacing yourself, walking really slow. So it's got a nice blend of everything. Atmosphere, jump scares, legitimately scary moments, terrifying ghosts that are really tough to kill. Uh, your ammo is film to shoot and capture the, the spirit of the ghost. It's really good, and, and learning why all these terrible things happened, and the history of the mansion, and, you know, from what it says, even on the cover, it says it's based on a true story, so, uh, you gotta kind of wonder, hmm, how much of this did they actually take into context, you know, and take out of context? You never know, but it's the fun of, man, could that really happen? Did it really happen? I don't know. And I did, and I kind of, I kind of cheated a little bit. I did play Fatal Frame 2 first. Um, they didn't really spoil anything for the first one. I still didn't know what happened or anything. But that's what got me to want to play the first one was Fatal Frame 2. And I picked that up. I remember I've still to this day never beaten it. And that's because I don't own it. I want to, but I don't own it right now. And I remember back, it used to be when I worked at the GameStop and they let you rent out games like three t three days at a time or something. So I picked that game out and brought it home, started playing it, you know, had my three full days. It was really awesome, really awesome. And I remember I got to a point that I couldn't quite beat, but it was also the end of my time, so I had to take it back. And they didn't let you re-check out a game. You had to wait a certain time. So I do remember I instead, I, I took it back and I checked out. Uh, Tomb Raider, one of the Tomb Raider games. <laughs> now that I think about it, I should have put that in my list too, because I hate Tomb Raider, but I thought I'd give it a shot and give it a chance, and I uh, didn't get into it, still didn't really like it. It was one of the newer ones on the PS2, and it just wasn't for me. So I took it back, and by the time I had even, well actually no, I take that back, I didn't get to take it back. That's because uh, my time there was done. They uh, said they weren't. I was a seasonal guy, so they didn't need me anymore, and that kind of sucked. But I never got to take the game back because I just never remembered, you know. So I ended up. I had a game for free, essentially, a game I didn't even like. And it sucks to look back and go, man, I could have had Fatal Frame 2 for free potentially because they never called me, they never checked up on me, they never did anything about it, and. Uh, I did eventually kind of give it back to them, so, you know, they can't say anything now. It's been quite a few years, but yeah, that's a little interesting uh, anecdote, a little side story for you there. But the Fatal Frame series was really good. Now I'm picking up, you know, trying to do a little more each and every time. Uh, the Dead Space 2 games, you know, I, I loved those games. Dead Space 1 was much better, than I think, than the second one, but... Still, the second one had its good moments. It wasn't bad. And I'm looking forward to Dead Space 3. So, that's something. And, uh... You know, looking over here at the games I, ha I have... Uh, Dante's Inferno. It's not really a horror game. But, I mean, there's some... There's some gruesome stuff in there, you know. And... Uh, God of War's not a horror game. But, uh... Eh, I wouldn't even throw that in there with the mix. But I need, I need to start playing a couple more of the horror games. I want to pick up some of the Resident Evils, some of the Silent Hills, uh, get some stuff on the PSN network, and 
stuff like that. So I'd love to hear any recommendations that you guys may have, if any. But let me know what you think about Halloween, what you think about the horror game genre, or films, anything. I'll talk about movies in another video, but uh, yeah, that's my take. That's my thing about video games. Never really got into it when I was a kid. I couldn't, but now I'm really enjoying it. I have a much better appreciation and fondness for it. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. You guys have a good night, and I'll be back with another late night chat.